Hello and welcome to what I hope is one of many videos dedicated to art appreciation being anchored in love. You see what I did there? I used alliteration. Our segments will be part of a series called Creativity Chomps with Mrs. Gregory in which we are going to talk a little bit about art history and a little bit of its application. Our artist du jour is Caravaggio, art's famous bad boy. A man equally as likely to have a dagger or a sword in his hand as a paintbrush, Caravaggio led a troubled and tumultuous life. Born in 1571 and spending his early life affected by plague, he became a sort of vagabond painter, finally making his way to Rome in his early 20s. A cardinal became his patron and provided for him room and board as well as an artistic outlet. He made many exquisitely detailed paintings for several wealthy people in the next few years, traveling throughout Italy, but his wild and woolly ways always got the best of him, and he ended up dying mysteriously at the age of 38 on the road to Rome from Naples. His over-the-top personality and amazing use of the brush make him famous still today. So the application I want to focus on today is Caravaggio's implementation of chiaroscuro, or the use of strong contrast between light and dark. Now we've talked about this in school, most of you, and you can see in these uh, pictures that I've got up here, many examples of chiaroscuro being uh, done by Caravaggio. This was a style that had not really been used to such an extent before him, and because of him, it was a style that influenced many uh, painters thereafter. The concept of a bright light source somewhere in the painting or e outside of it, creating an extreme detail and focus on the subject matter while bathing the surrounding areas in almost total darkness, creates an amazing sense of drama in a painting, and Caravaggio perfected this method. 